Let them run past you. Don't, don't follow them. Let's go in that Let's go in that Come on. I see the Why is that, Why are you Look at what you're doing. Wow. Look at that. Alright, Mitchell crossing the finish line now. That's Abilene Wildcats. Aliyah Mitchell. Let's hear it for her. What a performance! That catch is wild! Wow! This is the start of the under 15 boys and girls at the cross country at the Queen's Park Savannah. They're on the mark for their own. about to begin cross country 2013 and they're off boys on the 19 women and boys on the 19 hold on come on don't stop don't stop don't stop right people run but we must not forget that this event was won by Aki Marshall of Togo Titan I warned you before about the Togo Band Aki just won the under 19, under 20. Was it four laps? Three. Three lap race. Give me a little idea, all right? I like your back, you know? I like your back, boy. Right, ready for that. Let us identify yourself and just tell me how your final race was. Come on. Um, the race, it wasn't a hard race. I wasn't running hard. It was a tactical race because of the mud. The, um, the, the wet condition, yeah. yeah. So I really didn't, wasn't going out. I was just staying a little ahead of the pack. And on the last lap, I uh, plan to go out now. Sprint. Nice, man. You look well. So you're happy with how you execute this race? Yeah, very happy. And it was all a plan, so it wasn't no guessing. That's right. what I was going to do. So what is the next step for you now? What next. are you looking out for next? Well, what I'm training from now from now for is the um, race in Jamaica where I run this for. Alright, well done. Just call your name again to make sure. Aki Marshall. Aki Marshall. What club? Toko Tapa. Titan. Well done. Yeah. And here we have, uh, what's your name again? Jevon Joseph. Jevon Joseph of Yevon Sonic. Let us see how that race went for you now. Um, well, it was a great, a great race. Um, had plenty of officials to make sure no you know, or anything like that. And well, all I know it was good competition. So how you plan that race? Did the wet condition show you off? Um, I won't say so, but the condition was very hard, very muddy, skate a lot, but it was good. It was a good race because we all went through it. Nice. And you ran in third place, and you made your club very proud. Proud. Congratulations, man. All right, thanks, sir. Yeah, man. Come here, Emily. And how you ran that race today? What what you felt like with the mud and all this other thing around you? It was too slippery. But you were way ahead of everybody else, so you ran barefoot or with spikes? Okay, and any problem you had while you were running beside the muddiness? You felt tired of But this is definitely a future champion in the making. And a mother. Let us get a word from her mother, please. Her mother is Movin Paris. She won the she won the first um, TNT marathon. Okay. I'm from the former Trinidad Tobago marathon record holder. I held the record for 16 years. Two. Oh. And now this is my daughter. 
So all she did was take your jeans. Exactly. And, and, and coach by. Right. Coach Johnny Rowe. Mike. That's recently. Mike, you're being interviewed. And the coach of both. Right. We just want to make sure and get everything in order. Yeah. Well done, coach. Thank you. Nice man. Oh. Huh? My name is Eva Francis. Well, I believe that Johnny is a good one. He's running around now. Ten K and ride a ten K. Okay. Nice, so you enjoyed the race and you overcame the mud and the slushiness and so on. It was a challenge, but I followed you. Alright, congratulations. Thank you. Three, two, hands open, cross country. One. About to begin at the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain, Trinidad. And they are off. That's the start of the 8 kilometer event for men and the masters. This is a call to the prize giving it. As they come around for the second lap of the cross country 2013 at the Queen's Park Savannah in Trinidad. We have Larode up front and looking strong. We have two at least passing by, you're very, very close. So Mark London of Tobago is passing here. All these athletes looking very, very keen in this nice overcast weather. Lots of mud. Here comes Mr. Cox. At the 2013 cross country, the last one for the season. At the Queen's Park Savannah. In the background, we are seeing J. Hugh Gordon using this as a fitness test. Cross Country 2013 at the Queen's Park Savannah. You can easily see the heavy mud splashing as the feet tries to overcome the slippery surface. At least doing very well. Under muddy conditions at the Queen's Park Savannah. Cross Country 2013. Here we have the Master Curtis Burton running very strong on the second lap. Let's put our hands together for him, I think. Complete the second lap. Get, get to your plan today. Were you able to get to your plan of action with that heavy mud today? So how it was for you though? Well, it was 
Let's hear it for Pentius Thomas coming up the home straight. Yeah. Just I'm back from it. Brazil, Pentius Thomas. All right, but don't shake your head because he did very well. Number Put a smile on your face, too. <laughs> He's <laughs> followed by. He's followed by 579. What a finish. Finishing strong after all of it. Then comes a varying number. 526. That's Michael Barrow. Michael Polidor coming to the finish line now. UWI 620 finishing. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Hugh got it in a sprint to the finish. Jay Hugh got it just a minute on the line.